In today's video, I am going to share how you can use ChatGPT to write standout emails in work and personal use cases. AI copywriting gives you a massive leverage point when it comes to writing emails. The truth is most people are scared to start out with writing emails using ChatGPT because they're worried that it's going to sound like they're writing it with a chatbot or their ego is simply getting in the way and holding them back from using these amazing new tools that save them so much time. Don't let your ego or your fear of change and technology lead you astray. Some of the best emails that I've written and gotten compliments on have been written using ChatGPT and before people even knew that they were written with ChatGPT. So today I'm going to show you how to 10x your copywriting speed and quality when you're writing emails. I'm also going to show you how to keep your unique voice when it comes to using ChatGPT for email. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a paid product that's helped me shortcut this entire process. It's a database of multiple copywriting bots that you can install in ChatGPT and get to work with. There are 35 total copy bots for all different types of writing, but we have six copy bots that are dedicated just to writing email. So if you use the link below, you can get all 35 copy bots installed into ChatGPT right now. And this is one of those deals where you pay once and then you get it for a lifetime. So if I add more copy bots in the future or I update the current ones, you are going to get access to that. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the essential skills that you need to write better emails using ChatGPT. You can skip around and find exactly what you're needing help with using the chapters below this video. I'm also going to be including some prompt templates below this video so that you can use those to follow along. We're going to start with how to draft emails. Then I'm going to show you guys how to write response emails using ChatGPT. Finally, I'm going to show you how to automate these emails so that whatever you come across, you can plug it into ChatGPT and very quickly get either a response or a draft for a new email. And then at the very end of this video, I'm going to give you some secret sauce that's going to help you actually personalize these emails and make them sound like you, make them sound human, make them sound realistic so that you don't come across like a chatbot. By the end of this video, you'll know everything that you need to know to write expert emails using ChatGPT. Now, let's dive into how to draft your emails. Let's start drafting our first email using ChatGPT. Imagine I just got done with a networking event and I was talking to somebody about their website and their marketing, this and that, but we didn't get anything on the books. We didn't get anything uh, actually scheduled and we don't have an initiative to meet. So I want to email them back so that I can book a meeting with them and provide some value to them and then potentially close this client. So I'm not just going to immediately start typing in ChatGPT. What I want to do instead is utilize this template for drafting emails with ChatGPT. You can get this template below the video. I'm just going to fill it out as we go and you can copy and paste this and fill it out with me. Decide on the tone of the email. So do we want it to be a professional email? Do we want it to sound um, a little bit more casual. Well, it's totally going to depend on the person that we are emailing, right? So for this tone, I'm actually just going to type in professional, but friendly and approachable. The next portion here is the name and the designation of the recipient. So, uh, let's just say owner of meditation studio called low tide name of the founder is Ted. And then I'm going to enter some background context. I just met Ted at a networking event. He expressed interest in a better website that helps him book more retreat attendees. And then the reason for the email, I want to eventually close him on a website deal. But the point of this email is to get a meeting so that I can provide ideas and give him value first. And then I'm going to add a caveat here. Don't mention the final goal of a sale. And then the desired outcome from this interaction would be to 
get a meeting booked with Ted and make sure he's enthusiastic about me helping him. And then here I can include some points that I want to include in the email. So just some very specific things that I want to have in there. The next one here is please ensure that the message is, and then we have to have attributes of the message, kind, approachable, non pushy, short and concise, punchy and valuable. And then it just asks what signature elements I want to include. So I'm just going to say warm regards, Carter. And now I can just go ahead, copy it and paste it over into ChatGPT. So we'll head back over to ChatGPT, paste this message right here and then hit enter. And it's going to start drafting the email for me at this point. And now this email is complete and I can go ahead and paste this directly into my email and then I can go through and tweak it and make sure it looks perfect for sending off. I don't wanna send this without reading through it and making sure that it sounds good and it has my voice in it. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to provide some extra tips on how to make this sound more like you. Next, we're going to look at how to respond to emails with ChatGPT. So I have this response template here and I have this hypothetical email written up where somebody's actually asking me for a proposal for their website. So if I need to make a response to this email here, then what I could do is I could just copy this and I could paste it into the template right here. So there's a point where you can add this. So add single email or thread to specify me and change the names for privacy reasons if need be. So this is just a hypothetical email. So I'm just gonna enter it here. No worries on changing things out for me, but you can if you want to so that your data doesn't end up in chat GPT. And then I'm just going to change the rest of this. So the tone for this one should just be friendly and casual yet professional at the same time. Next, we wanna enter the purpose of our response. So the purpose of our response is to build trust, value, cut to the chase, and give them a time I can meet. And if I wanted to, I could even include like my calendar availability. And here, if I wanted, I could just write in like, these are my days that I'm available. These are the times and days that I'm available. Or I could even instruct it to put my calendar link in here. The desired outcome is to build urgency to book a meeting in a friendly, non-salesy way. And I'll just reiterate in the points here, build trust, provide value, get a meeting booked. And then we have to describe some attributes of the message. Make sure the message is kind yet assertive and certain. And remember to include this signature here. I'm just going to say best Carter. All right, so now our response template is done. I'm just gonna copy that, head back over to ChatGPT, and I'm just gonna paste that response and hit enter. And now this has all the data that it needs and it's going to write my response. And just like that, it's provided me with an amazing email that I can use to respond to Jessica. It starts with some niceties and then it sandwiches in the main ask, which is an initial consult. Looking forward to the opportunity to work with you guys, bring fresh innovation and solutions to the table. I think that this will really add a nice charm to the email. Just by giving them a few different options here that are later in the week, this will give them some more urgency. And it also implements some urgency by saying, secure a website that drives user engagement and supports your business goals. Overall, I think this is pretty good, but once again, I would go through and change a few things just to make sure that it sounds perfect. Next, I'm going to look at how to turn this into a bit more of a dialogue with ChatGPT. And that's actually what my copybots specialize in, is turning the conversation into more of a dialogue here with the chatbot so that you can get a more iterative approach on your emails like Eloquent Bot here. Eloquent Bot writes personal emails that are cut above the rest. Eloquent Bot is a good one that you can just get started and have a conversation with. And it's actually going to start like asking you questions about specific details in said email, right when I hit get started. 
So this is just going to start from the very basics of the email and it's going to gather all of the information that it needs to produce that email. Same with apology bot down here. If I hit get started with this one, this one is for writing apology emails and it's just going to go ahead and run me through the process of giving it the information it needs. And you can kind of think of these bots as digital consultants that go ahead and ask you questions and then they diagnose your problem after they know everything that they need to know. And this is my favorite way to use ChatGBT in this consultative manner. So I've actually included a free template below this video that you can use to give your chat bot a general knowledge of how to write emails as an email assistant and how to actually talk with you back and forth. It's also going to have some different prompts that you can implement right out of the gate. For instance, if the user says response, then it's going to generate a response for said email that you're actually interacting with. If the user says draft, it's going to draft a unique email. If the user says subject line or first line, it can iterate on a subject line or first line that you've already created, or it can create entirely new ones for your responses and drafts. Now, this next template that I have below is going to turn ChatGPT into more of a consultant and less of just a single one-off answer, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this head back over to ChatGPT, and this is far too long to put into the custom instructions without breaking it up. So what you can do is if you are a plus user, you can go into my GPTs. Now, if you want more of a unique experience and you wanna tweak this to your liking, then you can actually create a GPT right here. And you can use my template as a starting point. So what I'm just going to say is use this information to create the GPT and I'll just paste that and hit enter. And this is one way that you could do it. It's going to now update the GPT for you and enter all of the necessary information where it needs to go so that this GPT is programmed to help you out. And as you can see, it's automatically implemented my response, subject line, first line, and draft. And since this doesn't have a definite way of answering, it's going to vary a little bit for everyone if you use this create tab here to do this but it is going to open up a dialogue and ask you questions about how you want to tweak this to your own use case. And now it's generating a unique profile picture for me. And now I'm going to tweak this by going to the configure tab and it doesn't look like it entered the name here. So I'm just going to enter email assistant for the name or email helper, whatever we want. It did include a description and it popped all of this into the instructions for me. If you want this to be a little bit more streamlined, then you could put the instructions in yourself. You could copy and paste them over and tweak them to your liking. But now you have an all around email assistant that's going to work well for you. Let's just test this out by hitting response. I'm just going to paste that email thread from earlier where Jessica was asking for a website proposal and hit enter. So this is where ChatGPT Plus is really starting to become a little bit more worth it for you because when it asks me for my expertise and experience, I can actually enter that as a knowledge item right here. I could upload a portfolio of websites that I've created here. I can actually answer some of these questions and I can actually implement them into the knowledge of this chatbot for the future. Or I can use actions to create API calls that actually interact with some of my data. Now, the more you interact with this assistant, the more you'll understand what information it needs inside of this knowledge area to actually make it sound more like you. And to take this up a notch, you can even upload files in here of past emails that you have sent from your own voice that you've actually written in the past. Once you're happy and you're done testing the email assistant, you can just hit save. Now you'll have this email assistant ready to help you out with whatever you need because you've uploaded the knowledge that it needs to replicate your essence. This has been how to write better emails using ChatGPT. And if you want to shortcut this process and do it even better, then I recommend purchasing CopyBots using the link below this video. If you guys have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment below, like this video and share it with a colleague that you think could benefit from this. I'm sure there's someone out there that you know that's still typing out their emails manually on a regular basis and just slaving away, you know, answering 50 emails a day or whatever it might be. So this video might actually help them out if they are struggling. So definitely share it, like it, comment below. It helps us out a ton and I'll see you in the next video.